Okay, looks like we got a little update here. My uh, clamp, my new clamp for my Mossberg 930 just came in while well, it's been in. It came quick. I can't even tell you how fast. And it came from California. It got here in two days. You guys ever want to ship anything quick? I'm telling you, priority mail is faster than UPS, faster than FedEx. I've been shipping a long time, man. I'm telling you. These people ship this priority mail, and it can't, It got here in two days. And it's uh, it's amazing. It's not that much money either. Um, so I want to give you a... Uh, think about what the shotgun looked like before, because I was too lazy to take uh, before pictures without the clamp. And now you're going to see it with the clamp. Looks so much better. And I'll explain what the clamp's for. Oh, yeah way better there's the clamp now that is a uh, well before we get started and put some change in my jar and speaking of change jars see that big bottle friend sent that to me we'll get to that in a minute um there's the clamp so I'm going to show you what an improvement how much better looking is that uh, you can get it from, <clears throat> get on the internet and uh, just Google Nordic, N-O-R-D-I-C, Nordic Components. And uh, that's probably one of the nicest clamps you can buy. And the other good thing about that clamp is you could take the screw out and you can put on a rail. And you can, you can put a light rail on there on the side. If you want to put a, a little Picatinny rail, they sell that separately. It's like uh, 10 between 15 bucks and 10 bucks. I didn't want that because, you know, I don't know if I'm going to put a light on that gun. But that's a good clamp, okay? Now, there's cheaper clamps out there. It looks like a, uh, it's shaped like the letter 8. It's only maybe three-quarters of an inch wide. You can get them. They're only 9 bucks, but they look like crap. You know what I mean? That's the clamp you want to get. 30 bucks. 30 bucks, and look how nice that clamp looks. So, uh, what the clamp does is, because of all the recoil, I mean, you don't need to have it on there. I like, I like it for looks, because the gun just looked, it looked incomplete without that on there. But what it really does is, it keeps, um, it keeps the extended magazine tube straight all the time. It keeps it, uh, it, it keeps it from being cocked and things binding in there with the spring and the rounds. Not that they would, but that'll make sure it don't. Uh, keeps it directly under the barrel, keeps everything square, plus, like I said, it really looks great on that gun. That gun needed that, and for $30, it was worth every dime. Every dime. Okay, so there's the upgrade on the clamp. If you want to get a clamp, like I told you, Google Nordic Components, and uh, all, all kinds of people sell them. That particular clamp there is between $30 and $37. Uh, Midway USA sells it. Uh, they, they sell it with the Picatinny rail, and it's $37, so it is it is awesome. It matches perfect, too. It's not, I thought it was going to be real black, you know what I mean? But it's not, it matched perfect. Looks like it came with a gun. Now, another thing with these clamps is, the rumor going around, uh, let's debunk the rumor now. These clamps are really designed for Remington 870s. So the Remington 870 magazine tube, I think, is a little, um, let me think, it's a little uh, of a different size than the Mossberg. So they were afraid when I ordered it, they said when you tighten it all the way down, it might not, cr it might not clamp down on it because uh, your magazine tube ain't, might not be big enough, the outside diameter. So, but I said, I don't care, I'll just super glue some... Uh, rubber inside the clamp on each side and it'll act like a gasket so they said yeah that'll work because we've we've done that and uh it doesn't have to be done uh it clamped down on it perfectly and there's even more to tighten it more so uh if you get this and you have a mossberg 930 the clamp will work out perfectly okay that's why I, it took me so long to get it because i was like oh man I don't want to have to doctor it up and screw it up to get it to fit. I want it to just fit on there, you know. But uh, I said, you know what, I'll just take a chance. If it's uh, if it clamps too big, I'll super glue some, uh, you know, cork board in there or rubber, and it'll act like a gasket. 
like a cushion as I tighten it down. So that's the deal, but uh, the deal is you don't have to do that, it, it works perfect. It went on there, tightened it, and it's awesome. Uh, if you want to look at it, uh, if you want to see a little bit more of it, um, show it to you. I'm going to muzzle sweep you now, don't get all in a sh don't get all bad out of shape, it's the only way you can look at it. There's this air, turn it this way. Look how nice that looks like it came with it, didn't it? Look at this. The clamp was needed. Look how nice that looks. All the way around. Now, they were afraid the clamp was going to be too big. Look at that. I still got, see that gap there? I still have another eighth of an inch that I can tighten it more if I wanted to. So, don't believe that shit, okay? Because it will fit. See that hole right there in the center? It's a threaded, machine threaded hole that is for a Picatinny rail. In case you want to put a light on there. Here's it from the front. Now my, my uh, magazine is directly square under the barrel. The clamp's going to make sure of that. And it's going to stay that way. There it is that way. Every which way. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a ball rubber. If that ain't a ball rubber, I don't know what it is. Okay. So there, I showed you that. And uh, here's a, something else I want to show you. From my friend Dino. Dino, you hooked me up, brother, because I didn't have a good change jar, and now this thing's awesome. It's a Budweiser beer bottle. Look how big that is. And uh, it has a football on one side. Very cool if you're not into that. On this side, it's got the old-fashioned Budweiser label, and it's, check this out, it's glass. It's not plastic. This is beautiful. I will definitely use this for, for uh, saving gun money. And uh, I'll probably display it here somehow if I can find room. I'm going to have to do some rearranging. There's a lot of stuff I want to display. I'm going to have to get this toolbox and put it somewhere else and have that corner as a, you know, display my shit. Because I don't want to get real, I don't want to get rid of Bill with his uh, Viagra. Cause see how good it's working? That shit ain't giving up, man. And uh, I don't want to get rid of my old brown dog beer bottle because that's funny. And uh, this is going to be for change. So... Uh, we're not going to use the Armory Channel Cup anymore. I'll just display that for decoration. Pour the change in here. And when this fills up, I don't know. Probably a couple hundred bucks it'll hold. You know what I mean? That'll be awesome. So thank you, Dino. I just want to show off what you gave to me. It's very, very generous, man. Beautiful. I, I really do like it. Check it out. Alright. Alright. Um... <clears throat> I'm really trying to get to the range, guys. Uh, right now, range time is, is, you know, you know. last month I gave you all kinds of range videos. So I don't understand when people say I don't shoot my guns. I'll never understand that. But I don't, I don't, when I go to the range, it's, it's a big production. You know, I don't have a range that's down the street. And when I go to my range, it's a little expensive. And you know my range, how gay it is. It's extremely restricted. Five rounds in a chamber. You gotta stand behind a fucking yellow line. You can only shoot paper. You can't use stand-up targets. You can only use the pulley, the pulley system for the self-defense distance. If you don't shoot self-defense distance, you have to shoot a handgun 25 friggin' yards. It is sucks. Okay. Uh, as far as the shotgun part of the range, I don't know anything about it. It might be more lenient. It might be worse. I don't know. I would love to shoot some clay pigeons with it, like stand them up and blast them all the way across the line. Uh, but I'm sure you're not allowed to do that. Maybe you are. I don't know. Uh, uh, shooting paper with a shotgun, I'm not, I'm not going to film that. That's ridiculous. Uh, I'm, I might do it for myself just as a function test to make sure the gun's reliable. But a video shooting paper with a shotgun, seeing a big spray of uh, little tiny holes going all over the place on paper. I mean, to me, it's just why. I mean, anyone can hit paper with a shotgun. Anyone can do it. it you know, uh, I'd rather film shooting a slug with a shotgun because it's more pinpoint aiming. You know, that would be kind of cool. That's just like shooting a big, you know, a giant rifle. You know what I'm saying? That I would like to do. But shooting a buckshot or, you know, birdshot at paper, it's just, I don't know. Anytime I see a video like that, I don't even watch it. I just go by it. I was like, Gee, I wonder what's going to happen. Oh, he's going to hit it. 
it's going to be everywhere. Uh, I'd like to shoot fruit, maybe some uh, honeydews and cantaloupes and all that, or something, or milk jugs. That's that's what I want to do. But my range, man, they just don't allow that shit. I don't, I don't. You're not even allowed to use human-shaped targets. Can you believe that? I have a target, and it's not even human shape. It's just round, and it has a head on the top. It's not even shaped like a body. You're not even allowed to use that. That's how ridiculous it is. And all that does, like I said before, is makes it makes the anti-gun people look like they know what they're talking about. Like we have bad intentions. So that gun range I go to, I'll not, I won't name it, is hurting the gun community about being that way. You know what I mean? I understand having rules. I understand standing behind the yellow line because there's people out there setting their targets up. That's fine. I understand why people are setting their targets up. Your gun has to be open. The magazine has to be out. It has to be locked back. That's fine. That's that should be that way. That's the. But when you get ridiculous with five rounds at a time and you can't use human-headed targets, and you can only shoot paper, you know, it's just ridiculous. Okay, it's like who owns this gun range? Bloomberg, you know. Anyway, enough of that rant shit. Uh, I want to mention uh, we're going to be doing a video on my buddy that makes these knives out of the spikes. I've been meaning to get to this. I've just been really, really busy, and I had a lot of videos. My son jumped into the picture again with his singing. And I was trying to help him out, and I pre appreciate you guys going over there and checking his. Even though you don't like that kind of music, whether you do or not, you guys are supporting them. I appreciate it. I love that music. But uh, this guy makes um, them beautiful knives out of the railroad spike. In the next video, I'm going to show you pictures of this spike and what, what the knife looks like after that. And I'm going to have his link at the bottom of the video because I get a, quite a few PMs. Hey, what happened to that guy? And how do, you, how do I get his knives? And I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you how to. If I get enough requests, I'll do a video. Uh, some guy, a couple of people asked me to see, they want to see my drawings. Well, I, I, they're pretty good. I mean, I used to, I, I used to be an artist. I used to draw a, a lot of comic art, like the incredible, you know, st stuff like the Incredible Hulk and Spider-Man and all kinds of superheroes. I used to do it, you know, you know sketch it with pencils. I might, I don't know. It's just, I don't know how many people want to see that shit, but whatever. All right, guys. Quick update. Hope you like the clamp. If you don't get the, if you don't, if you have this gun, I really highly recommend you get this clamp, man. It really makes it off, tops it off nice, and uh, it makes it a nicer gun. Period. All right, see. Ya.